What's up everyone, today we're going to be talking about the game called Raw, which never actually came out. What happened to it? Back in 2019, an independent developer calling itself Killer Whale Games had the industry in a tizzy when it announced a Grand Theft Auto clone called Raw. To fund wrong, Killer Whale Games put together a Kickstarter campaign and released a Kickstarter trailer on June 17th, 2019. It hinted at an RPG style gameplay in a massively multiplayer online open world environment that encompassed deserts, tropic islands, forests, and other detailed environments. Players would reportedly be able to craft items, engage in contracts, start a business, enter politics, drive different vehicles, trade with others, and complete a wide variety of additional actions. So basically a Grand Theft Auto online clone. You could also construct your house in the way that you want and not just purchase pre-existing models. You could choose to be a criminal or become a police officer. The options in the trailer seemed endless. Within a month, the campaign received just over 200,000, which meant it had overshot its target. But at that point, Kickstarter stepped in to shut the whole thing down. Killer Whale Games appears to have vanished into thin air. The developers also confessed the lack of preparation due to delays, timing, forecast mistakes, and several serious life circumstances. They reportedly had hoped to create some gameplay videos to gain trust of the gaming community, but had no time. This set off bell alarms for many people. Raw seemed incredibly ambitious to the point that other game developers upon viewing the trailer declared that this cannot be possible yet and we can't do it. Don't fall for it. If something like Raw were possible, a major developer would have already put out something similar and the idea that a random pair of developers could pull off a project of this scope seem unrealistic. People have pointed out that some of the existing footage looks like it was taken from the Unity Asset Store, which provides animations, models, and other assets for projects like this. This isn't itself proof of a scam, but it also shows that the developers were way over their heads. In order to stem some of the criticism, Killer Whale Games did eventually put out what it called a gameplay video, which showed vehicle controls. While none of this is definitive, Raw definitely could have been a scam, but it also could have been something really great if it had been true. Without any funding, the group calling themselves Killer Whale Games, if it was legit, has probably moved on to other things, and the world may never know exactly why it chose to end Raw by ghosting its potential fanbase. Back in 2019, when this game was first announced and the first trailer was published, it looked like it was going to be amazing, and it's something that the fans wanted because this was around the time that everybody he was getting burnt out from Grand Theft Auto 5 and with years and years until the next Grand Theft Auto game this looked like it might have been a great alternative in the meantime. The graphics did look too good to be true and the whole aspect seemed awesome but it was going to be hard to try to think that a game like that would actually work out. In the trailer, it can be seen that you can start a business, whether it's a store, a delivering business, a tow truck operating business, or among other things, you could become the mayor of a town. You could have a whole town that is depending on people doing various jobs that are actually players online and not just NPC, which seemed good on paper, but how functional would the town be if a lot of players just screwed around and just started doing mass killings and stuff? Something that we see in GTA Online. Again, we'll never know what this game could have been, but hopefully someday somebody puts out a game that is similar to what this game could have been. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.